Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, so today we are going to be solving a power PE exam um, problem. So for the power PE, uh, this is a typical, uh, you know, open circuit, short circuit test, transform or load losses calculation type of problem. So you'll see that in exam for sure. So in this example, we have uh, an open circuit test result from a power transformer that have a power loss of 20 kW from the open circuit test. The short circuit test at 50% of full load shows a loss of 30 kW. So the question here is what is the total transformer loss at 100% full load? So then your first question is, well, at least you have to understand what a open circuit test is versus a short circuit test. So open circuit test determines your determines the transformer losses at no load losses. Right? At no load. So it determines your transformer losses at no load. But the short circuit test determines your winding resist resistance and leakage and leakage uh, reactants. So essentially uh, what you have here is um, open circuit test result and short circuit test result, but at a 50% full load, right? So we know that uh, your total losses, your total losses at 100% load, this is equal to your I squared R losses at 100% plus your um, P, your losses at no load, no load losses. So now that you know that open circuit test yields or at least determines, it measures the no load, the no load loss, that means that um, we already have a known variable here, which is uh, the no load losses here. No load losses, and that's been given as 20 kW. So it's important to understand what you have and what you don't have, right? So um, what is your I squared R losses? So the percent load losses, you know, it come from changes in load current, right? Because for the short circuit load test, the low voltage winding is shorted and the voltage apply applied on the other side is increased gradually until the full load current flow on the short shorted low, low voltage winding, right? So uh, we have your I squared, what's been given here though, is um, I squared R losses at 50%. That's what's given. So we have 50% I squared R. But again, it changes uh, in, um, it comes from changes uh, in load current, right? So, um, if I want to know my full load uh, losses, which is I squared R, then I have I squared R losses at 50% is, 50% is 0.5 um, I because it changes, um, you know, it comes from changes in the load current. So uh, I have 0.5 uh, squared, which is tw uh, 0.25 I squared R. Now these I squared R, that's my full load, um, uh, that's my full load losses. So, but I have been given 
the I squared loss is at 50%, which is 30 kW. So I have 30 kW equals to 25 I squared R. So this I squared R is the same thing because it's the full load and this is the full load, uh, full load losses. So essentially what you want to do is to uh, calculate your full load losses and then add that to the no load losses. The no load losses is given because you have an open circuit test and then you have a short circuit test and you can calculate um, because you already know the uh, it's been given as um, at 50% it's been given as 30 kW so if you want to know the full load then just multiply by whatever the percentage is given so I squared R is then equal to 30 kW over 0.25 and this is 120 kW. So I have my uh, full load losses, which is 120. And I, I have my no load losses, which is 20 kW. So therefore, uh, the transformer losses at 100% full load is equal to 140 kW. So it's not it's not too bad. It's just a matter of uh, understanding. So that's really what the PE is about because you do need a little bit of experience before taking the exam, etc. So you know some of these you don't necessarily they don't teach you at school. Some of it is just comes from experience. So um, in the field, you know what an open circuit test is versus a short circuit test. So if you're given a problem like this, then you just quickly identify that your no load losses come from the open circuit test and then um, you go from there as far as calculating because if you know the 100% load losses right then you can multiply the value by the square of the percent of a different load to find the load losses at any given percent so that's really what the what the methodology here is and so quickly recognizing so this formula is is definitely uh, you need to know that and put that in your in your notebook for sure and then if you're given here 75 percent then you know use that to calculate your i squared r losses if it's 25 percent you know multiply if it's 50 percent and whatnot multiply it's really important to for this formula for you to understand that this is the actual food load full load losses so any percentage really you can multiply that in order for you to find the full load losses I hope you understand. Let me know if you have any questions um, in the comment section below.